Oh my god, do I look tan to you? What do you think I'm going to say? So I just got back from Miami. Also, hello, welcome back to another few days of my life living in New York City. The energy's different in here. It's probably a good thing, isn't it? I needed to get out of the city. I left two days ago, and now I'm back. And it was just a travel just with myself. And like, I went out, okay. <laughs> and I actually ended up going out by myself and meeting some people, so. It was fun, and I still smell like the beach. You should see, I also got a spray tan. I've never had a spray tan in my life and I was kind of scared. They're like, what shade do you want? And I'm like, I think most of it's gone now. You can see a little bit maybe here. No, that's just like the burn kind of. I did get burned up here. Yeah, I got burned a bit. I realized like in my life, I just really need to have some fun. Putting myself out there, meeting new people, taking my shoes off. Right now I'm planning to go to Manhattan Hinge tonight. I'm also gonna rearrange my apartment because you know when you just need like fresh energy? <sighs> Something in my fridge went bad in the last two days. If you're new here, hey, my name's Chelsea. I am a 30-something living alone here in New York City. I just like to make everyday vlogs showcasing my very ordinary experience living here. And in this case, I am finally coming out of a rough patch and am challenging myself to find more beauty in this crazy city life instead of focusing on the negative. That's where this went. I was gonna bring this shirt to Miami because I gotta go back. And I know some of you may or may not be interested in moving here, so I, maybe this experience will help give you some insight of what it's really like to live here so if that sounds like something you'd be interested in watching then i invite you to stick around i didn't realize how much i needed to leave new york city until i was already gone and i don't leave here much these days because i spend my money to live here so to be able to afford both that and to visit somewhere else it's actually a big privilege the energy feels better in here already but now that i've cut back on my drinking a lot i have been able to save a lot more money and invest more in traveling and experiences which i honestly forgot that i love so much I will always love solo traveling because based on my mood, I can be as hermited, if that's a word, or as social as I want. And I try to always do a little bit of both while I'm out there in the wild. Okay, not bad, but I don't hate it. I don't hate being this close to the bookshelf either, but it's gonna be really nice to have this open space. Wait, I almost forgot to tell you. I should tell you about something really fun that happened right before I left for Miami. Like, right before I left for Miami. 30 minutes before I boarded the plane to Miami, I realized that I booked my hotel for the wrong month. And I was panicking because it's Memorial Day weekend and most hotels were fully booked. And if they weren't fully booked, then they were really expensive. Especially since I was traveling alone, this just really wasn't a great situation. This is when our sponsor of today's video, Surfshark, saved me. If you didn't know, Surfshark is a virtual private network or VPN that acts like an online barrier to keep all of your online information safe and secure across all of your devices. And in this case, I was able to really quickly activate Surfshark on my phone and then begin to frantically enter my really important credit card information onto a third party website to book a new hotel on sketchy airport Wi-Fi. Honestly though, I feel safer even being connected to Surfshark when I'm at home on my apartment Wi-Fi because I live in an apartment and I just don't know if anyone's trying to like snoop on me, you know? So wherever I am, keeping my online information safe and secure is just one less thing to worry about. So I actually did work out booking a new hotel right as I was boarding the plane. So go me. While I wasn't traveling abroad this time, Surfshark is an amazing tool if you are, and not just because of the encrypted protection, but if you travel on a budget like me, it can be a great way to find cheaper flight prices. To do this, you can really easily change your virtual location by switching to the IP address of wherever you're wanting to travel to, and then looking up flights that way. And if you live in New York City like me, sometimes they jack up the flight prices just because they can detect where you're booking from, which really isn't fair, but this is a great way to combat that. And additionally, not that you need any more reason to give Surfshark a try. But if you happen to be taking a summer holiday and your favorite TV show is airing while you're away, you can use Surfshark to jump back to your home country's IP address at any moment so you don't have to avoid seeing spoilers while you're away. Lucky for you, I've made this super easy for you. All you need to do is to click the link in my description box and use my code CHELCAL for an exclusive Surfshark deal and an extra three months 
for free. And on top of all of that, they offer a 30 day money back guarantee. So you just, you can't go wrong. A big thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back into it. This tan, this fake tan is fighting for its life. Like the bottom part of my leg is pure white. And then the top part is like a little bit orangey. <laughs> Let me show you. Yeah, you can see it's slightly tan. It's like grandpa legs. <laughs> uh, I did terrible upkeep, so it's, it's fine. Look at all the space now. I think I actually should move the desk to here. I put the couch against the wall. We'll try it. So dusty. Okay, it is gonna be a little awkward if I have people over having to pass by the bed. It's so backwards, but I don't have people over, so this could work, maybe. Yeah, I think that's gonna be how it has to be. It's very awkward. Maybe I put the table, I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna figure it out and then I'll show you. I thought I would hate the bed closer to the kitchen, but I really don't. It really separates the room. And yeah, I could do a room divider or whatever, but it really does feel like a hotel room though the TV right there, there's really no other place I can put this thing, but I might have to get a wall mount that pulls the TV out a bit diagonally. So that you can see from the couch, this whole table, chair, you know, couch situation, it used to be so nice how the table was right in front of the couch. Give it like a month uh, and I'll probably have everything back to the way it was. I really wanted the desk in the sunlight and in a new spot. The rug situation isn't fantastic either. But I really like this, being able to sit on my couch and look out the window. I'm obviously not at Manhattan Hinge tonight. I took a nap, watched some TV. I'm very tired. I haven't slept that well when I've been traveling. So that sounds so cool to say. I haven't slept that well when I've been traveling. But Manhattan Hinge is two days in May and two days in July. So I go tomorrow to Manhattan Hinge after work. So I think that's what I'll do. I'll bring the camera with me tomorrow. Okay, so I just finished work. It's my first day back at the office since I took my five day vacations. I would really need to get home to edit a video that's coming out, but I really wanted to see Manhattan Hinge, so we're gonna do it. The sun is still pretty high up in the sky, so I have a couple hours to kill. So I was gonna go to PJ Clark's for like a quick bite to eat, to kill some time before I have to try and carve out a spot. demolish that except for one of the little mini trio burgers I put in my backpack. So now we're gonna take the four or five train up to Grand Central. For those of you who are like, what the hell is Manhattan Hinge? What is this girl talking about? Basically for two days in May, about three weeks before the summer solstice, and then again, two days in July every year, about three weeks after the summer solstice, the sunset or the sun is perfectly aligned on the east-west grid of the main streets of Manhattan. And you see this glow basically just slice through the island. From the pictures I've seen, it's gorgeous. The name Manhattan Hinge was coined by Neil deGrasse Tyson. If you don't know who he is, is you're living under a rock. We are not supposed to be walking along this side of the road. There's no actual walkway, but I'm just following people. Basically, he noticed similarities between this phenomenon and Stonehenge when the sun rises in perfect alignment with many of the stones on summer solstice, signaling a change of the seasons. Thus, the name Manhattan Hinge was born. Thanks, Neil. Besides all these people on their phones, right at the angle I was standing at, there was a big tree right in the way of where the sun was going to be actually, so there was really no point for me to be standing up there. There was a guy with a selfie stick right in the front that just wouldn't lower the stick. And I knew I wasn't gonna get a good shot. So we're gonna pivot going down the bridge. And then we're gonna stand in the street like the smart people. I'd say that 
was worth it, just for the experience. Is today Wednesday? Today is Wednesday. If it's not obvious, we're going for a run. Today I have been overthinking everything. I'm having a hard time getting back into my groove. However, this setup, like re Organizing the energy of my space has really helped, but I'm struggling to get back on the YouTube train as you can see But like where the hell are you? I'm like calm down. I had a mental breakdown but I really need to just take a couple miles to myself. These shoes are starting to fall apart because I ran the half marathon in these They're running out of miles. I think I've put probably around 200 miles on these. It's about time We re-up especially since I start marathon training in about a month. So that's exciting because it's just two miles I'm not gonna do like a crazy warm-up at all. Actually, I think I'm just gonna go in cold. I just need to do this. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. Just kidding. That was my warm up. My spring running playlist is absolute fire. If you need some running music, let me put you on. But if you find a song that you like on it, make sure to screenshot it or save it because I change this all the time based on what I want to listen to on my run. I need to stretch. I did some sprints at the end there, but it was a good run overall. My period is supposed to start tomorrow, so I try to get out this run today because once I start my period, I become about as energetic as a stick of butter. So might as well get the workout in while you can. Y'all know that I have been struggling lately with my mental health and I've been very open about that and it's been received very well. All of you are so nice and thank you so much for your support with all of that. But And there has been so much good happening since I posted my last video. It does feel like my life is turning a new page into a new chapter because I took the time to lay low and work through these big stupid feelings so I could have the opportunity to start as fresh as possible. So making it to the other side for the most part feels like a big weight lifted off me. However, I'm still on the same hamster wheel so I'm doing what I can to prevent that from happening again but you know baby steps baby steps <laughs> I'm honestly at a point this year where I'm just rolling with the punches some years are for enjoying the rewards of your hard work and some years are just for buckling down doing the work crying a lot <laughs> feeling everything pushing yourself you know so you can level up and that has definitely been 2023 for me I want to know if you feel comfortable sharing in the comments when was the last time that you really challenged to yourself no matter how big or small it was what was the impact that it had on you and if if you haven't what is stopping you there's no judgment here either way sometimes the smallest of challenges can make the biggest impact and based on the comments i read on my videos y'all are, are strong as hell why is my tv turning on where's the remote <laughs> oh it's in my hand <laughs> do you have any advice for finding a life partner ask for a friend try it all the time was i one it's 11 11 taking my plate time to go to bed i'm really proud of myself for finishing this video i'm a little nervous though it just seems like a lot of my content's really depressing because there's a lot of fun to be had but i'm just not my best self when i'm when i'm like this just gonna let myself be seen let myself be vulnerable put myself out there because that's all i can do right take a risk take a leap and the net will appear isn't that a uh, famous quote from something? Happy Friday, it's Friday at 5.30. I got off work early, I'm feeling great. I just listened to an electronic bop from 2016 that put me in an amazing mood. And I went to Trader Joe's, oh, which I forgot to film now that I just said that. The most important thing, you know, is that I got flowers. Put these in a vase. Beautiful. Wow, they smell so good. Right next to Phoebe's. How cute. Let me show you what I got from Trader Joe's really quick. I'm gonna go really fast, so pause if you want the details on anything, okay? Any questions? Good. Back to the basics, middle of things, but I've never been basic. Run around bases, came from the basement, never been shameless. So I stay in the streets, get dangerous, so I might bang it. Don't like hanging, unless you family, please don't 
claiming Like what you claiming, what you saying What you bout and what you need I'm at the house, ain't at the club I'm really chilling with my seed I love my poppy, put me on I'm really chilling with OGs Don't test my gangster, so think I'm May we gon' we gon' Tryna be here for a while in a good time When we ain't stressed out, just good wine When I look at them I'll be honest, that having a Friday night in feels kind of weird like I feel kind of restless being here alone like I need to be out doing something with people I haven't been able to sit still easily lately which is not like me normally these nights are my favorite it just feels different tonight I'm just gonna like let it sink in you know feel it eventually it'll leave right that's how it goes did you hear that littlest burp ever <laughs> tomorrow night I'm going to Brooklyn Mirage to see John Summit with my best friend. So excited. This Mirage season is chef's kiss. It feels so boring that this is my interesting Friday night activity, but yeah, let's make the bed. She was both Colombian and went to the University of Columbia. I've been starting to dream up what kind of apartment I'm gonna want to move into once my lease is up and I'm really trying to prioritize a washer dryer and unit because if that's the case I would wash my sheets like every other day just because it's fun I would do a load of laundry probably every day just because I enjoy it but I just hate having to haul my clothes downstairs even though it is nice to have washer dryer in my building I'm grateful for that it's 9 21 it's my birthday time September 21st my lucky time. It's time. But honestly, I'm just excited to have a little bit more natural light. Like even if I lose some square footage, if I can have a direct beam of sunlight on my face or on my plants, that would be worth it to me. But I, it's gonna be really hard to let go of this $1,500 studio in Manhattan, cause that just doesn't exist anymore. But I don't know. I feel like um, we're into the new chapter that's focused on prioritizing quality of life. I don't normally like to eat in my bed. It just happens to be across from the TV. It's not normally what I like to do. What's your favorite thing? Creamy. That is creamy. Why do you want cold milk? Biscuits and gravy and chicken lunch. This place smells like. Why are you making Jess up? Doesn't she have like a magic car? Exciting news. I don't know what happened, like a switch flipped in me. It's because I went on vacation. There's something about this author, Taylor Jenkins Reid. She writes the most addictive books. So if you're ever in a reading slump, pick up one of her books. This is the third one I've read from her. Jesus Christ. I'm still doing laundry. It's my fourth load of laundry. Anyways, this is an amazing book. It's so good. It's about tennis and Carrie Soto, her journey post retiring from tennis and being the world champion. If you read it or have read it, let me know in the comments. I'm just gonna relax, probably go to sleep early. Also, John Summit does not come on until 1.30 in the morning tomorrow. 1.30. I'm gonna need a lot of Red Bull, y'all. I'm so upset I have to mute all of these videos because I don't want to get copyrighted, but y'all, it was an amazing concert and I feel like just taking this week to have fun and do things that I know I like and not being ashamed of them and just getting out there and turning my brain off a bit has done me a world of good. If you're feeling similar to me and you haven't done that and it doesn't overstimulate you too much, just do it. You'll, you'll thank yourself later. So anyways, what you're looking at here is my view out the window on my Uber ride home watching the sunrise. <laughs> I hate missing out on sleep and I know my next day is gonna be rough but y'all it was worth it. This moment right here breathed life back into me. I can't explain it. It was an amazing night and morning I guess. So if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already consider subscribing. I'm talking to you handful of people who I know are not subscribed to me but watch my videos. It'll really help me out so that's my one thing I ask of you. Anyways okay Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.